Hi everybody. I'd like to talk about curves and I'd like to explain to you how curves came about. In the good days of uh, film, uh, when I was a young photographer, one, this is one of the things we had to learn about. Now curves came about from the manufacturing of films and emulsions. And once a manufacturer had produced an emulsion, they would photograph a grayscale similar to something like this, where you have in what I would call a normal contrast, the tones going from black all the way through to white. And they would then plot them on a graph similar to this. Now you get a curve like this and it's called the characteristic curve. And one of the things they used to do, they would bring, measure that, put a straight line down here and then they would measure the, the angle across here and that would give them the characteristic curve, the gamma curve, and which was important in those days. Now a high contrast uh, image would look like this, where you have very little black down here, and it goes very quickly into grey, and then the white starts about here, and then there's no tone at all, all the way along there, and that would be very strong contrast. And the opposite would be this one, where the black goes on a little bit further, and there's no white at all. It's just grey. And how does that apply to Photoshop? Well, I will explain. Now here you have the Curves palette. And the actual um, histogram here shows a slightly strange looking grouping of pixels. But we don't want to worry about that too much because we're going to talk about altering the contrast here. Now, as you can see, we have the normal one underneath here, the normal curve. And this is what we've got here, a straight line. Now, if you click on the top and drag it in to the right, and I'm going to exaggerate this to 25%, you can see what happens. It goes extremely contrasting. And this is a steep curve. You can make it even steeper by bringing in the black. But we don't want that. That, that's, that looks awful. But you would only ever use a contrast on a, what I call a flat subject if it doesn't need, if it needs tweaking the contrast. Now, the proper way of doing this is to just move up slightly the curve to increase the contrast. You don't want to move it too much. Because if we go back and undo that, and we just drag this in slightly, you can increase it a little bit, you alter the whites, and you can actually bring in the blacks. It's, a case, it's, it's something that's a preference, but the mid-tones, you really want to lock the mid-tones in place, and you do that simply by, let me take that off, by clicking on the middle and it will lock in. If you want to lock anywhere, you just click on the line where you want it. Let's undo that. And if you want to get rid of any of your locked positions, just click on it and drag it off. And if you want to move that down a bit, you can do. And as you can see, contrast is controlled by the by the, the curves palette. 